Alright, what's up everyone? Pathfinder here and today we're playing some more A Killing Floor at Who and we're playing on the Killing Floor classic map, West London. And this is apparently a recreation, I mean a direct port from Killing Floor 1 to Killing Floor 2. Oh. Wait, is the ch was the chopper in Killing Floor 1? I just can't remember off the bat right now. Well, I'm bad. I, I think there was a chopper. Yeah, I, th I think there was a chopper because I remember him flying through this. But I am not sure. I think I think there was. Yeah, I think there was a chopper. So today I'm just going to be playing some Demolitionist because I haven't been playing it a lot. I mean, I've been playing it, but I haven't been like recording with it a bunch. So Demolition time. So what do you need to know about the Demolitionist? Well, Demolitionist is... Like, overpowered for, like, small groups of Zeds, and once you reach level 25, then things just get better because you have the nuke. And yeah, Demolitionist is just OP, to say the least. Okay, Pigos, you are going to taste my HX, man. Dude, Pigo, what are you doing, man? Dude, I wish there were, like, Pigos in Killing Floor 1, but I don't think Killing Floor 1 had, like, that much variety of clots. Okay, Bloat, what are you? Bloat, you need to get away from the West London, man. Dude, this actually- look, the, even that shit's the same over on the distance there. My- oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot. Okay, what is that sound for the fire? Oh my god. Why is that so loud? Okay, I need to get away from here then, because that's too loud for me. Wait, where did you come from, Pigu? My god. Hey, first wave completed. What is that sound? Oh, for the fire, okay, Jesus Christ, that's loud. Okay, I'm going to be skipping the trader and be right back. Dude, even the trader is the same. Jesus Christ. Alright, we are back for the second round. Oh. Wait, can you get stuck in this? Please don't kill me. Oh. Okay, you can't get stuck in this. And why is that Scrake? Jesus Christ, Scrakes. What are you doing on, on the second round? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, at least I got grenades. <laughs> See, this is the demolitionist like 24-7. You just go and shoot and that's it. Kill everything. I mean, the Demolitionist doesn't do well against Scrakes. I mean, it can do quite good if you have the RPG, but you just can't kill a Scrake with the HX on like a six player Hell on Earth. And spiders, don't you fucking dare. Sirens, you too. Oh, come on. Okay, that's a Pigu and that's a Bloat in the distance, which I don't want to get puked by. And get nuked. <laughs> I just like the Demolitionist, man. Clown, what are your priorities? None, I hope. Oh, come on. Spider, you have nothing to do here. Okay, then let's just not kill him then, I guess. Okay, fuck that. Okay, that's a spider that blows up. Don't mind me. I'm just going to be jumping away from you. So fuck you now. I do actually like this map. In Killing Floor 1, this was like my second favorite map right next to Mountain Pass. Because it's just so flat and you could just be like the sharpshooter all day, every day. And that was quite awesome. Oh, the double pistols, man. Huh? You're getting fucked, aren't you? Okay, I'm just gonna use this just because, why not? Ah, uh, gore fiends, man. Always love them. Come on, man. You got nothing on this. Oh, the nukage. I think I can actually buy the... What's it called? The RPG in this round. Wait, why are you jumping? Dude, I just like the church, man. And the lighting there is actually OP. Oh, clown, stop ruining the moment. And pig was you as well. And there's a husk behind. Somewhere. Oh, there he is. Husk, what are you doing? Oh, you just got exploded, man. No hard feelings for that. Siren, can you fuck off? And that's a lot of freaking clowns there. And gore fiends, of course. Grenade! And they're dead. How about you, Bloat? You are dead as well. Hey, I just like, like, ported maps from Killing Floor 1 or, like, like, older games of Killing Floor, you know, like the mod. I just like this in this game because it just feels so nice to see this map again. Because I haven't been playing a lot of Killing Floor 1 lately, but yeah. Alright, skipping the trader and be right about. Okay, we're back. And I just remembered when, I, when we played this, like, in Killing Floor 1. Three people here, three people there, and it was easy every single freaking time we played. My god, I just missed the Killing Floor 1 days, man. I mean, 
I I played Killing Floor One like uh, up until Killing Floor Two came out, like in 2015. No, the Killing Floor Two came out in 2016, I guess the beta, or it was it 2015. Now I don't know, Jesus Christ. But I I know I played it in 2015, the Killing Floor One still, and I I was just like a Killing Floor Two, you can say like a pro. But now if I go back to Killing Floor 1, I would probably suck ass, because I just got too used to this game, you know, like sprinting and bashing. And going back to Killing Floor 1 probably is going to be a nightmare for me, I think. Because there's no sprinting, no blocking, no bashing, just... Just Killing Floor 1 things, you know. But I do like how they did Killing Floor 2, it's not like too much different. You know, it still, it still has like the same fun, addicting gameplay, but... Killing Floor 1 will still be like an old classic to me. Because that game, like in 2008, when it first came out, was just so freaking awesome. And I didn't actually play it in 2008. I know that it existed, but I never got around to it because I just thought it was going to be like another early access, unfinished game, you know. But little did I know, it's going to be, it was going to be my favorite ass game of all freaking time. I mean, you never know if you don't try, but I mean. Some games are like bullshit because you buy them like in early access and the developers just quit. But I know this won't, won't, wouldn't have happened in like Killing Floor 2 because I know Tripwire are going to make an awesome ass game. So that's why I bought it in early access and I've been playing it ever since. I just like fucking Killing Floor, I just don't know what it is about it. Just like the addicting sh factor for like, you know, shooting and decapitating something and blowing it up. I just don't know why that is so satisfying to me. Have no idea. I don't like it for the pigos, man. I mean, just look at this guy. Oh! And I don't like it for spiders, man. Can you fuck off? Alright. Gore fast, you shit. And that's an infirmi infernium over there. Okay, you just shoot your own kind. I don't even care. Okay, eight more. What's left? Okay, that's a nook. Getting fucked over there. You need to die, Siren, don't you scream right now. I mean, what's up with Sirens? They just don't scream. They just don't want to scream all that often anymore. Alright, what's up, classic trader? How you doing? Alright, skipping the trader and be right back. Alright, we are back. And let's see if I can actually kill some flesh pawns now, because I hope they will spawn. Because things are getting easy. Okay. Some random bosses here. Oh! Well, that was an insta nook. Always a good sign. And you need to get away from me. Freaking stalkers in this game, man. I just hate them to the day I'll die. And spiders. And you know what's worse than stalkers and spiders? Both of them combined. Jesus Christ, I just hate them. I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay, the cloth actually died. How did he die? And why can't I pick up the ammo? Wait, is that glitch still here? Because I think in Killing Floor 1, I think when you went in that little hole, or whatever the hell that little corridor is, if you went in there, you were kind of stuck. I mean, you were not stuck, but Zets couldn't get to you. I think that's, that was in Killing Floor 1, or did they patch that? have no idea. Okay, spiders, I don't need this right now. Can you just fuck off? What are you doing, Orfast? Uh, I'm just losing life. But I don't care, because I am the demolitionist. Okay, so the ammo here, gonna grab it, because why the hell not? And Pigos, what are your priorities? Oh, fuck off. Dude, Pigo, you just don't wanna die, don't you? Okay, that's a Scrake, which I'm gonna just shoot, because I don't want to... Wait, is he dead? How did he, how did he die from, like, one rocket? That doesn't usually happen. Okay, nothing behind, but a lot of shit in front. Okay, wait, did I blow up? No, I, d I don't think I blew, blew up here. So I still can get down to life, like 5 health points, I think. Maybe. Oh, bloat, will you ever learn? And Pegos, you need to go. Sirens, you as well. More sirens, are you fucking kidding me? And where did you come from? Okay, time to nuke everything, I guess. Here we go. Siren, can you just get into the nuke and die? I just like the Demolitionist, man. It's like an all-around, like, it's not overpowered. You need to know what you're doing with it, but 
It's still an awesome ass perk and you don't even need to aim all that often because everything just goes into the center of the screen most of the time. Ooh, flash bombs somewhere. And there they are and there's already one raged. Fuck's sake, man. Why are you raged? Okay. Kill the flash bomb before something weird happens and Scrake get decapitated. Here we go, kill you. And that's a husk over at the distance. And another one. And I missed. Because why would I ever... And I missed again. Okay, grenades. Here we go. And now I can't miss. Hey, easy. Alright. Let's see who we're gonna get. Hans or the Patriarch. I am hoping for the Patriarch. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And Tripwire, please fix this bullshit. And we get Hans, of course. Wait, if you do this... Is it going to bug? Okay, it won't. Wait, what's that sound? I think that's the sound from like the ambience around that room. I think he spawned over there, so I'm just going to show them a bunch. And there he is! Freaking Hans, man. Can't even engage me from that far. And I missed, because why would I ever not miss? And he's already on his shield and he didn't even do shit to me, right? Yet. Here we go, time for the nuke, and you need to go. Okay, go- oh, he's already coming. Don't you dare. Okay. Let's get you another shield on. And let's destroy the shield, because that's what we do. Hans, what are your priorities, man? Oh shit, he's gonna get me now, probably. Or maybe not, because he's standing still. And another one should do. Hey, easy. And now I have the HX for some reason, instead of like another pistol. Well, it's very, very hard to kill Hans on Hell and Earth while you're the demolitionist, right? Am I right? Wait, is this even Hell on Earth? Okay, it was. Thank God. Alright, so this is... Oh, of course, I'm going to get a USB stick instead of a freaking... What's it called? A summer sideshow ticket. Jesus Christ. Dude, I actually got, like, a bunch of masks. Like, three big masks from just the tickets. And that's kind of sad because I want, like, a cap or something, but... Alright, this was pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. It was actually epic to play the West London in Killing Floor 2. Awesome stuff. Alright, map is in the description if you want to check it out. And yeah, leave a like, comment, and do all that funky stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.